I am finally back. I'm finally making the video that has been waiting forever. It's been forever and a day. It's literally been over a year. First of all, let me just say my skin does look like trash, but it's only because I've been super sick for like two weeks. I haven't been eating anything. I fell asleep in this guy's bed. And I think his bed was like super, super dirty and whatnot. So I kind of got all over my face and I just haven't been drinking water and stuff like that. So yes, my face looks like trash. And I have to hold up my phone because I don't have my tripod and this is the only area of my room where there's good lighting and yeah that's fan in the back. so this video is going to be what I would have done better or yeah this video is gonna be what I would have done better in my interview for Louis Vuitton in my other video about Louis Vuitton and a lot of other videos about retail I get a lot of comments asking about my experience what I've done what I do what they should do tips about resume I mean I think those are videos in itself that I need to make separately so if you need to see videos for making resumes or experience or how to act in the interview and stuff like that you need to let me know down below and I will make videos for that I just want to make a disclaimer which I should not have to be making a disclaimer um, I'm not saying I'm better than everyone because I get to work for Louis Vuitton or because I've had interviews at all these places. Um, I'm just making these videos for the sole purpose to help everybody that may actually want to do these kind of things or they're just interested or they might even be surprised that someone like me um, got this position. Also, I just want to address the negative comments, which I shouldn't have to be. There's been people out there, it's like, oh, like you're never going to get that position because the acne on your face or like you're, you're just not perfect enough or like you don't have enough experience or maybe you should like work at like Saks or like Bloomingdale's so that you can get like more experience and stuff like that. Yeah, so those comments, I mean, you can feel free to keep those to yourself. I mean, I honestly don't care. Um, I just want to let everybody know that if you have a dream and if you want something that you really want and you're passionate about and you love and you feel like that is the best thing for you, don't let anybody get to you. Remember, more people are going to doubt you rather than support you. Um, it's not an easy journey and there's going to be more challenges and more obstacles in your way to get through what you really want in life. So keep going, keep doing what I have did and eventually when you just stick with it, it will happen. I really believe that and it's still hard it really is so if you're on the same journey as me just know good things don't come easy and then I just also want to thank everybody so much for your support and everything throughout the entire year um, so let's just begin I wrote down um, a list of everything um, I'm gonna kind of just read it and then go off from them from there so I would wear something nicer I mean I wore a nice suit but if you guys watched my other video it wasn't like the best suit I have four other suits which I definitely would have worn. But I feel like first impressions are definitely everything. I would have, I should have worn something a little bit nicer. She looked really nice. So I should have kind of topped her and, and looked even nicer. Um, in my interview, they asked if I have anything Louis Vuitton. I think the reason why they asked that is they want to know if I've shopped at Louis Vuitton before, obviously. Um, they want to know if I buy their products, if I know about it. Um, I said no, but I guess because I was out nervous. I would have said yes, and I would have told them the things that I really do have. Um, at the time, I didn't have anything Louis Vuitton, but I feel like for the sake of their interview, you need to say yes, because they want to know that you shop at their store, you love their store, and for someone to actually love their store, then that shows that you want to work there, you want to sell their products. So I definitely would have reconsidered my answer for that. Um, I feel like that's a big point. Um, they want to know that you understand that the prices and what it's like and kind of like what it's like to buy that. I would talk more about how I'm more confident in selling because those things are expensive. They're higher priced items and to sell things that are expensive, you have to buy things that are expensive in my opinion. Well, I feel like that's true. I feel like if you, you can't sell something that's $3,000 if you never bought something for $3,000 in honesty. So to sell those products, I would have to say that I'm confident selling things that are $3,000, $5,000, $15,000 because I myself have done those things. I think it's confidence and comfortability that you're confident and comfortable enough to ask a customer that you don't know to buy something that is that much. So they would want somebody that knows that it's okay to ask for that much money from somebody else. They don't want somebody that's scared or skeptic um, to not be able to ask those they need good sellers i feel like i'm rambling too much they need good sellers that are confident yeah i don't need to go on i would have talked more about that so um a big thing about retail is numbers if you don't know what numbers are you like you have to focus on how much things you sell the amount of money you make a day the amount of money you make per transaction um, how much of one product you're selling and from where and how often and how frequent so those are um, I guess the easiest way is to refer them as numbers and I would talk about how I maintain high numbers by selling multiple higher price items 
at once, um, regardless of challenges, pressures, and obstacles. Um, obviously, this is a business, so as a business, we need to sell for them and make money for the company, and doing so, um, you have to sell a lot and you have to have skills. So I would talk about how I maintain high numbers. I wouldn't say that I'm pushy in sales. If you ever come across a pushy sales associate, there's a reason why they just wanna make their quota and you do make more money when you do meet your goal. So um, I know how to be pushy. Um, genuinely, I don't want to be, but if Louis Vuitton wants me to be pushy, I mean, I'm gonna have to. I will, I, for that position, I'm being honest, I will. If they want me to produce high numbers and that's what one of the things that you have to do or want they want you to do then that's what i'm gonna do there's certain ways that excellent and amazing incredible sales associates know how to be pushy without coming across as pushy so i think i have one of those skills to just be super super nice and coming across like most professional as possible and really looking out for them and really caring for them and they're gonna forget that it's even a sale they're gonna just think that it's just friends that it's just two friends talking simple as that Simple as that. So another thing for Louis Vuitton is they obviously work with clients. Um, your position is a client advisor. So I would talk about how I go above and beyond for my clients and how I would. I would talk about how, and I would say I would go to their house to drop off their stuff. I would go to their hotel to drop off their stuff. I would hold out of their stuff. I would buy them things. Like honestly, I really, I genuinely care about these people. Like if I to work at Louis Vuitton, I care about them so much. Everyone that walks in, regardless, like I want them to have the best experience and I want them to actually know that it's, that they can trust me. I want to know, want them to know that they can trust me and that they want to love the brand and they want to come back because I feel good when I help other people like that. I want them to feel good and it makes me feel better. I go home feeling happy that I made somebody's day. It, re it really does, it's just me. I know a lot of people just don't care about these people. They just want them in and they want them out. I want to know all of the, about them. I want to know what they're doing, how their life is. I want to know that they're okay. I just want them to have everything because it just feels good. I want people to do that to me so treat other people the way you want to be treated. I talk about how I would keep in contact with them. I would be very personable with them in my thank you notes. I would reach out to them as much as I can and I'll be able to remember their names, their family names, whenever they come in and just, you know, it's very family oriented and very loving. That's just who I am. So it comes easy for me and people recognize that. When I talk to strangers, they just talk about how nice I am and they don't give a shit about what's on your face. They don't give a shit about how you look. They just want to buy the product and get in, get it out. So I think that's a very mediocre um, reasoning to why you have to look great in retail. I honestly, I don't think you have to. It's just how you are, your personality, and what you can do, and how you can do it. I tell them I'm more serious about this position, and I'm positive I want this as a permanent career. So in my interview, they asked um, how long I think I would stay with the company, what my goals are for the path, for the next five years, and I think I sound a little bit unsure. So if I sounded more positive and more certain that I wanted the position, then I definitely think that it would have been much more better. I would have let them know that I want this, that I'm serious about this. I gave this a lot of consideration and I had to fail in order to know that I want this um, more than anything because I want this as a career and I want to stick with it forever. I want to be one of the veterans of Louis Vuitton and I think that I deserve it more than anything because this is what I want to do. I don't see myself working anywhere else other than Louis Vuitton. Of all the high-end stores that I shop at, Louis Vuitton is the place for me. And I'm certain that it's what I want and I know that I'm not going to change my mind. Another thing they talked about was um, going back to school. Um, would that be good or bad? A question, I'm not sure um, because it could mean that oh if i go back to school would that mean that i'm leaving louis vuitton i think it could go both ways i think it would be okay if you say yes i think it could be say i think it would be okay if you say no so if i say no i don't want to go back to school it could um infer that i don't care about my education um but if i said yes then it could inf um, infer that i do care about my education obviously but if i did decide to go back to school i would have let them know that i would do louis vuitton and i would go to school at the same time because i'm able to um, time management and um, juggle between the two of them it wouldn't be a problem honestly i think in my opinion i would still stick it out and i would make it work when asked about my weaknesses i'd say um, sometimes I let the sale get ahead of me because I just want to produce high numbers for the store but um, I just need to remember to put them first so um, they always ask oh what are your weaknesses what are your strengths um, I would basically just kind of say that that um, I because you want it to be good but you also want it to literally ask the question because not everyone is perfect 
and they want to know what some of your weaknesses and what you can work on so that's what i would work on because honestly when i'm selling i kind of sometimes i let it get ahead of me so i do work on i'm um, trying to make it better so for example like when they're only buying one thing and i need to be selling three things to them i will just go push 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 in a nice way and then even when they still say no 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 like obviously i'm poor and i can't afford any bit more at the end i'll just be super super nice and i'll be like oh i just want to make sure that you know you're really getting everything that you want and i just want to make sure that you um know all, what all your options are something like that that's what i kind of say sometimes <laughs> um yeah so that, i guess that's something i would need to work on um i'd be more open about myself um I really think that a lot of these retail stores, and I've talked to a lot of managers, especially the ones at Chanel and Montclair, um, they've hired people that worked at Kmart, that worked at Dick's Sporting Goods, and then now they work at those kind of stores. So I think personality definitely speaks louder than um, experience and everything, because if you know how to carry a conversation and you just care about these people, I mean, training and whatnot, that can come, that can come with the job. I honestly believe that. That's what the lady at Montclair said. She said that, um, they just look for people that know how to talk and have a great personality and the training and whatnot that can come So I'm I would say I'm I'm willing to learn Obviously, I care about the brand and I want to know more about it. So of course I would want to take the um, Training courses and the and the extensive training that they offer because I want to be an expert about this I want to do this forever and I want to be the best I can be for them myself and the customer I'd really stress to them that I really want to work in a serious environment environment that are that have employees that are serious about this because of all the places I worked I mean yes people come and go but for at Louis Vuitton you have to be serious about this and you have to really um, not play games and for me I'm serious and I don't play games of all the places I worked people kind of just had a job there whereas for me I want to be there and I want to be the best I can be always because I want it makes me feel better and makes me feel happy and I want and I respect the company. I want the company to know that I, when I'm working for them, I care about them. And I'm going to be there for a lifetime. And this is something that I really want. And I'm going to do the best I can do for you and everybody around me. So of all the other places I worked, I mean, we worked around people that like are on a budget, our kids. Um, and then some of them are affluent and make money. Um, I prefer to serve more of a prestigious clientele because I can relate more to them. So for Louis Vuitton, obviously it's more expensive, so more rich people shop there. Um, not always, but I would say most of them. So that's the kind of people that I can relate to. Um, it's more easier to talk to, and they just get it. Um, people that are cheap are looking for a sale. They don't care about anything. They don't care about what you say. They don't really care about them. They just want a good price. People that are affluent, strategic, smart shoppers are smarter. They've done their research. They know they don't need to have all this extra superfluous bullshit honestly so i feel like that's the kind of people i need to be around and it's easier to work with them um i'm not saying i don't know how to not work with people that are on a budget i mean i understand that i respect that but it's 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 what louis vuitton is about and that's what i need to be about also i tell them more examples of the challenges i face and how i overcome them um i think that's what sets me apart from a lot of people is that i've challenged i've been challenged a lot over the years and it's because of my tenacity that I've been able to pull through. And not a lot of people can do that. A lot of people kind of let it get to them and they kind of set them back. For me, I don't let my challenges get the best of me. I always want to do better. I always want to progress. And it really shows. And if it wasn't for all of the challenges and the failures that I've been through, then I wouldn't be how strong I am today. So I really am thankful for all the things that I've been through, regardless of how hard or how difficult or how much of a strain it had on me, because I, it made me better. And because of that, I don't want other people to go through the things that I've done. So that's why I want to help other people to be stronger just as much as I am. So I tell them examples of who my customers are and what I've done for them. Um, and like I said, they're huge on clientele. So I talk about um, how above and beyond I've gone for my customers, what I've done for them, things I bought for them, and th the things that they say to me. I, I'm not tooting my own horn, he, 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 but I do get a lot of customers that tell me I'm gonna go far in this and that I'm so loving and so caring and that they feel so comfortable around me and that, that I'm really taking care of them, which I honestly do to a lot of my customers because I just care and it's it just feels good to do it. It's, it's simple and I want to do that for everyone and I want to take it to the next level. I want to be at that top tier where it's just like extraordinary service that they need somebody that's just so 
loving and on point and in regards to that person's life to uh, a point where it's just wow you're just wowed and it really changes people's life and perspective on retail and buying and selling and everything and I just I have to be a part of that it just it make me happy it'll make me happy coming into work knowing that I get to change people's lives so it's more than just selling it's it's really helping people in the world when you get to work at these kind of stores and for these kind of stores you need those kind of people I believe that. Like I, I kind of already said this already, but um, of all the employees that I've been around, all the people I've met, um, I'd say that I'm always the one in the whole entire store that I was the most serious and that I've always wanted this. And um, I would always tell people, oh, I want to work at Louis Vuitton. Like, that's my dream. And everyone was just kind of like, oh, yeah, this is just like where I'm working right now. This is kind of just a job. For me, it was like I always, I worked for experience. Um, I've shopped at other stores and see how Dave did it. I kind of mimicked my own style. I mimicked, I mimicked people's styles at Montclair, at Louis Vuitton and Chanel. I saw what they did and I kind of applied it to my life so that I could just practice and until I became in my own. So... I always took it serious and I always took in things from other places, books and places I visited to become even better for myself because I want to be extraordinary for when I work for Louis Vuitton. I want to be the best I can be because they deserve the best and I respect them above all of, of anything. So I really believe that I'm the most serious out of everyone and of anyone that really wants this. And I feel like out of all the people that kind of, you know, want this or want something like this or... Um, I feel like I deserve it the best. So they ask about how I'm gonna help people that don't speak English and I would I would definitely say that um, I would talk Korean and Japanese to them um, and Chinese to them. Um, I'm not fluent with it, but I'm very good with it. Um, but another thing, a great thing to say is because body language speaks louder than words. So pointing, your reactions, your emotions, those speak louder than what you actually say. So I think that's a really great thing to talk about is how I act with them. It's more than just speaking. Um, I think that how I act and how I move with them with my body, with my emotions and my actions, that it's really going to even speak louder than what I even say. Because most of the time that's what selling is. It's um, how people look at you and how you seem approachable. Um, if you seem approachable, and more people are generally to want to be helped by you and will be able to trust you because if you don't care yourself highly or you just kind of look like you don't care or you just seem overall that you don't want to help other people no one's obviously going to want to work with you so that's why i stand tall i'm positive i'm happy i'm open and i'm generally at ease and approachable because that's the best thing that you could do it's easier that way <laughs> so i guess i tried to press up on as much things as possible um those are the things that i would have done i feel like it would have made me a lot more better but if you experience something like this i feel like again you have to fail and you have to be set back and be told that you're not good enough because it's gonna make you wanna work harder. It's gonna make you just be like, no, you know what, just because I didn't get it, I'm gonna keep trying, I'm gonna keep going at it because for me, like I really want this and it's I'm not gonna let anything get the best of me. Um, this is a challenge and you really gotta stick with it and I really, I'm gonna stick with it. So yeah, um, hopefully I'm, because a year ago, um, I was confident that I wanted this, but I didn't know how badly I wanted it. So I'm glad that um, I was told no, because I wouldn't have worked harder and I wouldn't have gained more experience. So I feel like even now, I'm gonna gain even more experience and imagine five years from now, can you imagine how much better I'm gonna be? So yeah, I hope this video was very helpful to anyone. If you do have any questions, you can always message me. When people message me on my videos from a year, two years ago, I still reply. I will not forget you guys. You, can, you guys can always message me on my social media anytime and I will reply to you. I'm here to help and I'm never not gonna not help you. But thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope it was helpful. If it was helpful, make sure you leave a comment or give this video a like, whatever you wanna do. I'm happy that you watched this video and I hope you guys have a great day and see you guys in my next video. Bye.